Now, what happens when an element combines with oxygen? Like in this case, or this case, or this case. Every time, what we got was an oxide. Now, what has happened? There is addition of oxygen. This is called oxidation. So, we can say here carbon, magnesium or calcium has been oxidized. Oxidation is not only addition of oxygen, removal of hydrogen is also oxidation. So, either addition of oxygen or removal of hydrogen means oxidation. There is another complementary reaction, reduction. Reduction is addition of hydrogen or removal of oxygen. This is reduction. For example, N2 plus H2 is equal to ammonia. This is reduction. Now, another aspect. Now, when CuO copper oxide is heated with coke, what we get is copper and carbon dioxide. So, what has happened? Oxygen has been removed from the oxide and so what will we say? Is it oxidized or reduced? So, we will say because there is removal of oxygen. So, we will say it is reduction. So, copper oxide has been reduced to copper. This is reduction. And what has happened to oxygen? It went and combined with carbon. So, this was we can say carbon has been oxidized. Carbon oxidized. CuO reduced. Even in the case of iron, same thing happens. Now, this method is also used for extracting metals. When we are manufacturing iron or zinc, then we heat it with coke to convert oxides into their metals. When we will be doing metals and non-metals, we will study this more in detail. So, actually speaking oxidation and reduction goes hand in hand and when oxidation and reduction go hand in hand the reduction the reaction is called redox. So, we can say that oxidation and reduction go hand in hand they happen simultaneously. So, the fifth type of reaction is the redox reaction.